it's 6.30 in the morning here. Um, you know, it's maybe not the best time for me to be doing this, but I've got a busy day and it's on my mind, so, you know, I'm just going to talk about it. And I'm just going to be, you know, totally blatant and, and upfront and honest here. Um, <clears throat> I should I should be kind of making this, you know, and I probably will make another one for, for, for new people coming in because, you know, I should have done this a long time ago. You know, I'm kind of pissed off this morning. The reason I'm pissed off is, is a couple of things. Um, first of all, you know, I'll get into this, you know, extrapolate a wee bit more on this. Martin Leakey, right, and this quasi-luminous character. Now, you know, this is this has been happening to me ever since I got involved in this from the very beginning. With even from people like Jeronism who used stuff that you know that, that that I brought forward and posted on Facebook, um, you know, and then it started appearing in our videos. And this is a theme that has continued. Um, because for me, you know, you know, I'm I'm really strong and you know about the truth um, and pushing forward the real truth of the situation that we're in. And that's a problem for people. And so, so the agents or people who are involved in this have been jumping on it from day one um, and trying to suppress anything that I do, hijack any any information or concept that I put out there, um, you know, and extrapolate on it and take take the focus away for the actual point. So um, this Martin Leakey in the Quasi Luminous video, this Quasi Luminous is constantly putting videos up there. Now, logically for me, you know, I made the discovery that, you know, the possibility is, is that they're hiding a, a way out and that there could be a way out of here. Um, more land, more more worlds, whatever, but, but you know, logically for me, you know, I just, you know, came to it that there's a way out of here. So I started putting that out in the videos. And now all of a sudden this quasi-luminous character jumps on it and starts talking about fucking candy sticks at the centre, black hole suns and all these fantastical things. Um, stuff that's unproven and um, that is unprovable and it's the same old regurgitated fucking crap from the truth movement oh this funny symbol and this number means this and blah 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 it's fucking nonsense now people like Martin Leakey who are so insecure and have such a low self esteem just want to be relevant so they'll push any fucking nonsense that's trending or popular just so that they stay popular and relevant I've spoke to this Martin Leakey before on the phone um, you know, tried to have a civil conversation with him and he done the same, taking things that I said and in the very next couple of videos he's putting it out there without giving credit or props. Um, you can see him mentioning my name under his breath, the curve. He's like another Jed, you know. These these people who are involved in this, you know, as I said it before, you know, they're either in it for a, for a purposeful reason or they're getting involved in it for egotistical, selfish reasons. Now, for me, Martin Leakey, low self-esteem, you know, I can see it in him, you know, these these are issues that Martin's had for a long time and, and it's now playing a part in this and it has been playing a part. Now that for me is a fucking issue. So, you know, I've sat back long enough and I'm not accepting it anymore because these people are stunting my fucking chances of finding out where I live, okay? Um, every one of these people that I'm going to mention for me are fucking players, right? Now I put the tools out there to look at the content. <coughs> I'll try and slow down because it, it pisses me off, you know, especially when I get up in the morning. And maybe I shouldn't make these first thing in the morning, but fuck it. Um, that has to be said. So, you know, this is the truth, people, right? The globe is a lie, right? Now, they pushed maps and models and these these people to, to cause um, confusion and... Um, you know, create division with their personalities and basing things on emotional levels, right? The truth of the matter is, is that none of us know where we are. We've been born into this captivity, told a fucking lie, and we should accept nothing other than full exploration and full disclosure. Now, these people who talk about all this other bump, you know, it's 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 there to, to hold it back. Um, the same was true with Antonio Subarats. When I done the psychopath stuff, the narcissist stuff, and he jumped on it, you know, try and control the narrative um, and sway people's opinion while at the same time they sit there and display the very same behaviours. Now, it's disheartening for me that people can't kind of see through these things. Um, you know, 
I'm pushing myself forward and putting my neck on the line, you know, putting myself up there to try and push the truth. All I want to do is represent the truth, right? But you've got these players amongst us who are just fucking ripping the piss, you know? And people are too stupid to see through them. Yeah. I've not got any patience anymore for Martin Leakey's, Antonio Subarats and all these fucking players. It's fucking time for it to end. You know, people need to stop fucking giving these people attention. If you want them to be a leader or some sort of personality, then, you know, hold them to the truth and don't let them move from it. Because all their behaviour is causing damage. I mean, look at Martin Leakey, right? He spouts all this stuff about loving God and he's God's servant and he spews hatred and you fucking hate this cunt and you fucking hate that cunt and sending people threatening messages, you know, and he's, this is all happening to Martin Lidke because, you know, at the start I, I feel like he was involved in it for the truth, but he sold himself out, his ego got the better of him, he started to believe that he was something more that he was some sort of servant of God and that he was here for some sort of spiritual um, thing. And from that moment on, his whole purpose is to be relevant, right? No tell the truth, just to be relevant. An arse like whoever is, is there, you know, Jed Skeptic, you know, New Quasi Luminous and whoever else, you know. But yeah, you get decent people like me who have been there from the beginning telling the truth, you know. But people like Martin and all these other players don't try and build bridges with you. You know, because they don't want the truth to be united. Right? Now, I'm not saying Martin's doing this deliberately, but he sold out to his ego. Right? And this is the behaviours that you start to see. You know, I don't think people are grasping the seriousness of the situation that we're in here. It's not a fucking laugh and it's not a joke. Right? You're being lied to about where you are. Okay? And there's a push to control and manipulate your life. So, for me, it's a matter of understanding how that's happening and getting to the real root of the problems, the real truths. You know, and as I say about these people who claim they're truthers but don't build bridges, I contacted every one of them. Matthew Powerland, Subarats, um, Dubai, uh, every one of them and question them on their bitching um, and why they push unproven claims, why they play emotional games, um, you know, and why they don't stick purely to the facts and express that. And guess what? It gets ignored. Okay? They speak to you when it suits them, but no one is concerned in the truth. So, you know, you know I'll get into it in a wee bit about, 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 you know, who I think these people are. Because let's be honest, you know, this is the biggest lie. So for people to think that, that there's no an active um, presence of, of government or the powers that be, then you need to give yourself a fucking shake. You know, on my friends list, people that I've spoke to probably work for them, right? But think that you're too daft to see them, right? But at the end of the day, I'll just play and sit and play. Because I don't need to get involved emotionally or in any fucking um, tiffs, right? They can be where they are, you know, and think they're smart and think they're clever, but they'll never be smart and clever. You know, I said it from the start, and I've always been telling people from the start, they put these models out there and these false claims in order to get you to adopt them so that they would have something to attack. Because then they can infiltrate, they can divide it up and split it. But see, when you stand purely in the truth and you, you, you're strong with the truth, they can't play these games. Right? That's why they don't, they're not interested in me, they don't want me near. Right? Because they know what's going to happen. They know that if they're on camera with me, I'm just going to strip them there and then. Right? So, and people... People like Martin confuse my straightforwardness, you know, and the way I speak with aggression and that I'm somehow going to suppress them. So they will avoid coming in contact with me in case I make them look bad. Because remember, most of these people, it's all about keeping themselves looking good, right? And being relevant and being popular. Because they think it's a fucking X Factor show. They think it's a fucking popularity contest, right? And I've said it from the beginning, I'm not interested in being fucking popular. I'll be popular for the truth. But know my personality, it doesn't come into it, right? I want the truth, I want to know where I'm, I want to be able to give my kids the, found, the psychological foundation that they require so that they know where they are, right? And have a better chance at real truth. 
than what any of us did. So, when I see these people behaving like this, I see where their priorities lie, and the majority of them it's for selfish reasons. Right? It was the same. You know, you see this infiltration in these tactics. They bring certain characters in, you know, each character has a certain personality that suits so many different people, and then they promote each other, and then they cause confusion and division, like, look at the Warry Gales and the Jed Skeptics, and all these other characters that have come in over the last six months to eight months, right, all they've done is cause division, avoid content, you know, and just play logical fallacy after logical fallacy, and at the same time, you know, they blatantly try and play down logic and, and, and real science, Right? Because they don't want you empowered. They want people running about nicking at each other on an emotional level. That suits the agenda, that suits the game. You know, but people like Martin and these other people who are in these positions are too fucking stupid to see it. Right? Because they've sold out to their ego. <coughs> now, you know, this isn't a personal thing. This is about the content, this is about the situation that we are in. And these people for me are causing a serious fucking issue now. Right. I've got up this morning. You know, and this is this is it starting to creep in. This noon's flower or no one's flower asked for a chat with me a couple of weeks ago and I agreed, you know, and had a you know a civil conversation. She then asked me, to, you know, if I would be interested in a chat with this guy, um, psychedelic Christian, or Tim, whatever his name is, um, you know. And unfortunately, because I've got the two young kids, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't make the the Skype call that we had arranged. But I, I messaged and apologised. So, you know, this is a kind of communication. So I've got up this morning, and this is the message I get: You are being drawn into a social experiment. Leave before you end up looking like an idiot. Peace. Right. What does that mean? Is this the whole flat earth a social experiment? Whatever. The globe's a lie. Right. There is zero proof for a globe. Everybody that knows me knows that I'm not on board with any, with any flat earth model. The truth is we don't know where we are. All models are flawed. Any model brought forward will be fake. Right. We need full disclosure and full exploration. That's always been my stance, right? And right from the beginning, I stated clearly that there is probably a way out. Anybody that doubts that, you can go and look at the timeline. It's all there for people to see. Now, this isn't about popularity. I was first, I was first. I'm stating the truth, right? I put this stuff out there because it is the truth. Right? And it's important to me, not because I wanted to hold it as my concept and, you know, garner fame and notoriety, because I want people to have the truth and to share the truth. But, you know, the more time goes on, I see that, that, that people are suffering seriously from personalities, right? That they're invested in their personalities, you know, and even truthers, when you meet up in groups and you watch their behaviours, it's the same behaviours, you know, it's like an infection, they don't have the ability to overcome the personality and the ego. You know, they're stuck on it. And even although they portray themselves not to be, they display it straight away. You know, it's 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 you know, it's really, really eye opening for me, you know, and I'm starting to see that I'm in a very small minority. Because at the end of the day, I know the truth and I know that I want the real truth. I know the truth of my situation and I know the truth about how we need to get the real truth. Right? And it's no about being a popular personality, right? The only reason I would want somebody to be a popular personality was if they were telling the truth. And right now, any of these big names that I'm seeing, any of these people that are involved, there's, there's virtually none, right? None. That tells you the scale of what's going on here, right? Because because at the end of the day, this is the biggest thing, right? People questioning where they are and, and coming to the, 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 the conclusions or the possibilities that they want to go and explore is, you know, a big issue for the powers that be. They don't want us exploring and finding the real truth. They want us stuck still in the middle. Now, this whole infiltration of flat earth, that's what it's about. Right? It's not a social experiment. Oh, they're going to, you know, they're going to laugh at everybody. It's too far gone. Right? The proofs are the proofs. There is zero proof for a globe. Right? None. We know that's a lie. 
and it's too far gone, there's too many people waking up. So as I said before, what's the problem? What's the issue here? Right? They want to steer it. They want to take people into a new paradigm. You know, I'm not having any more of this talking with people in Google Hangouts or Skype or any of these things because even when I'm having conversations there, I'm hearing things coming out in videos that I've had in private conversations with people. So, <coughs> you know, if you think I don't know what's going on, I can't see what's going on, you're fucking deluded. Right? As I say, people might think I'm taking a strop. I'm taking a strop, but I'm taking a strop because I'm not taking any more of this fucking crap. Right? My timeline's there, everybody can hear everything that I put out there and see everything that I put out there. Right? There's nothing to hide. You know, as I say, with the Antonio Subarats and Matthew Powerland thing, with the narcissist and the psychopathic behaviour, Subarats jumped on it. It doesn't involve you in the conversation. It doesn't even contact you, you know. But then him and Matthew Powell, they know fine well who I am. You know, I've been there from the beginning. They know who I am, right? But they'll sit there, you know, and con and, and, and congratulate each other and, and push each other and promote each other. And they're not the only two that's doing this. This is going on everywhere. Um, you know, I removed certain people from Facebook. It's the same with this Jake Gibson character. No, he, oh, great work, great work, Jake, great work, Jake, because he debunks. So, you know, I've been doing that from the beginning as well. You know, but nobody promotes me. The reason that they'll not promote me is because I'll tell the truth. Because if I went into any interviews or any conversation, I'm not going to sit there and appease people and nod my head. You know, I'll tell the truth. And if they're telling lies or pushing unproven claims, they know that I'll strip them. So they avoid me. And it's their insecurities. If it's just people who have sold out to their ego, like Martin, he'll he will avoid me because of his own insecurities. You know, I've seen him recently trying to respond, thinking that he knows what I'm talking about. And it's just like <laughs> muttering under his breath with a total disdain and a discontent. You know, it's disrespectful. Right? And these people have only come so far. The truth only suits them until they find a position that's comfortable for them or they get a bit of notoriety and a bit of fame and then they're happy with that. They don't want to go any further. And what they will do then is just try and stay relevant to the gossip and the bitching that's going on. And that's what people at Martin have done. You know, I'm beyond that. I mean, I'm not even interested. For me, these people aren't the real truthers anymore. Right? They've sold out. Right? The situation's still the same. We are in captivity and they're trying to lie still about where we are and I don't fucking accept it. And none of you should, if you claim you're truthers and you care about yourself, your family or anybody else, you shouldn't be putting up with this. But as I say, this isn't an attack, you know, but trying to, you know, criminalise or belittle anybody. But it's a matter of understanding. Now, I can see, like, people at Martin, where they're coming from. You know, how easy it is to sell out to the ego. Okay, I understand that. But at the same time that I understand it, you know, I expect people to realise certain things and move on. And if they don't, you know, I need to speak up because this is hindering my chances of, of knowing where I am. I've seen it from the beginning. i done the Badger video because it was organised groups on Facebook setting groups up, you know, to deliberately pull people in, to get them to adopt models and then attack them and then spread it, right? Now these players are everywhere. No. They realised that, that, that I knew the truth and that I was pushing the truth, so they removed me from every group they could. They suppressed me from any group or any people. You know, they created groups with the same name as my group, but all capitals. They made memes of me, spread it about, you know, trying to ridicule me to keep people away from me. Right? Know me personally, from the truth, from the message that I'm pushing. And that's where their issue is. They don't want people critical thinking. You know, the tools that I've tried to put out there, the analysis that I've done. You know, they do not want that. Right?
As I say, people want to be popular and famous and they know that the truth is boring. They know that the truth is repetitive. So they try and play to the audience and it should never be about playing to the audience. You have became a manipulator, right? You have sold it for your own gratification. So these groups were created and they pushed me out. Then all these characters were starting to appear. Um, now for me, a lot of these characters are probably military children, um, whatever that get, however they get involved in military. And I think some of the prominent ones are probably the children of rich kid, uh, rich people, right? Because if they can take it a new paradigm, release some flat earth that's you know a lie, um, whatever model. You know, there's going to be new markets, there's going to be new business, you know, they want to keep control of that, so they're going to put these people in, you know. And the, the narcissistic, psychopathic types, you know, who are only interested in self-gratification will take their roles, no problem, the same as they've always done, and run with it, because they know that they're going to be popular, um, you know, and maybe make money out of this in the future. So, that's what's happening. That's the truth, right? You go and see if you can find anybody else who tells the truth, the real truth. You know, as I've said, from the beginning, I tried to cl clear it up for people. Listen, in order to make this easier, you need to stick to the claim, which is the globe, right? And focus purely on that without making any other claim, because the only claim you should make is that's a lie. And the real truth is, is that, you know, we don't know where we are. We need full exploration and full disclosure. That was the truth. That is the truth. Anything else is an add-on. Right? Trying to prove unproven maps and models, you know, and working on hypotheticals and, oh, it could be this and it could be that. It's all a waste of fucking time. It's all deliberate. Right? I said about Jeronism, you know, from the very beginning, you know, I was putting the stuff out there about understanding the, 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 the subdivisions of science, natural, formal and social. Nobody was, was sorting any of that stuff out. Nobody was pushing that forward. I had the understandings because I was involved in the evolution creationism debates and all that kind of scene. So I had that stuff figured out. So when I put it out there and I was getting inbox messages on Facebook asking me for other information, you know, my brother's getting into a debate and is there any good information that you could give? So me and my naivety at the time was sharing it no problem. And then it was appearing in videos. With no props, no credit given. No, no, even involving you in it, right? So that told me right away, right, you know, these people want to be valid and they want to, you know, be credible. And so that tells me there was a further plan, you know, because if, as I said before, if they just wanted the, the globe to exist and, and totally rubbish it, you know, there's easier methods of doing it. You know, it would never get this far gone. But it's a, it's a release, a controlled release. So all their, their, their positions are filled before it starts to gather momentum. That's how it's working, right? Now, and I explain to people the reason, the way you see these people, I don't have to sit and point fingers at them. Unfortunately, it's getting to the point where I'm going to have to point fingers because people just can't get it, right? I put the tools out there to look at their content, you know, understand logic, reason, and natural science, or the trivium that I've discovered recently. When you understand this method of thinking, it's not about information, it's about your method of thinking and how you, you, you decipher information and look for the flaws in it. That's what they don't want you to have. They want you to think that these guru types giving you information is the way to go. It's no, that's religion. That's no instilling critical thought in you. Right? So... I tried to put the tools out there so that people would see them and hope that people would see them, but they don't. They just continue to follow them, you know, and then call them flat earth leaders and prominent flat earth figures, you know. People are creating that, people are giving them that place, the same as everything else. You know, the same reason that people give politicians and all these religions a, a place to exist, because they give them the attention. And it's just happening again. It's repetition into the new paradigm with the same mind state. That's the desired effect. Yeah. And you people are allowing it to happen. And that pisses me off. 
big advert, Martin Leakey interviewing Quasi Luminous, right? You know, that tells me everything. Because Quasi Luminous has, has all these subscribers and there's a bit of drama around him now because he's blood over intent and he's crazy claims about black hole suns and holes at the centre, right? He just jumped on that, you know, with me saying there's a way out and started saying, oh, it's a hole at the centre and blah, blah, blah. Never mind all that fucking rubbish. If Quasi Luminous was a real truther, he would be saying the same, right? There's a possibility that there's a way out, but, you know, I don't know where it is. We need full exploration and full disclosure in order to find it. No making claims that it's at the centre or it's at the side or it's here or it's there. They are claims that this guy's making that nobody's asking for verifiable proof. You know, it's fucking ridiculous. It's all about staying popular and staying relevant. You know, I feel as if I'm at the end of my tether with this because people just don't get it. You know, I've said it before, I can't help how I look and how I talk. You know, people might find that offensive or intimidating. You know, that's their insecurity. I can't be fucking dealing with that, right? We need to go over this namby pamby fucking, um, you know, babying fucking attitude. You know, and it's, you know, people like Martin and all these people are given, you know, the people who are in it for division, you know, more material to call it cult behaviour, you know, and all these crazy behaviours and they'll highlight it, you know, when really these mentalities come from a globe cult that's just been brought into this, into this new paradigm, right, but, you know, these behaviours are allowing it to be slowed, to be divided, you know, and for it to be dragging on, you know, and I don't want it dragging on, I'm fucking tired of it, right, nothing that we know is true, nothing, you were born into captivity, and told a fucking lie, I just don't think you're actually grasping the severity of what's actually happening here, you know, maybe it's too terrifying for people to face up to the true reality, but, you know, if we unite, and I don't mean unite as in, oh, we're best of pals and we're personalities going. on. No, you know, we all have different personalities. We all have different likes and dislikes, but we need to unite for the truth if we really want the truth, right? No one individual or another individual, you know, people pushing the truth and demanding that anybody that's in a position keeps to the truth. The same as in the political arena. You know, uh, uh, you know, uh, the, the 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 social arena. Anybody representing, you know, groups of people. People should be demanding and accepting nothing less than the empirical proof, the truth of any situation. And anybody that veers from that, they should be stripped and removed. No fucking about. No excuses. So, when I do a video for encouraging the new new people coming in, you know, I'm going to highlight again how to watch for players and these manipulators and these people involved. Because there's twofold. There's people who are deliberately there pushing an agenda and know the psychological tactics that they're using. And then you have the other ones with low self-esteem, maybe a bit of narcissist behaviour, whatever kind of, you know, sociopathic behaviours who just want to be popular you know, and relevant, and will contribute to, you know, suppressing the truth unknowingly, right, just because they're so involved in their own emotional fucking crap, right, that they don't realise what they're contributing to, but I'm not going to sit back, I'm going to keep saying it, and I don't care, you know, people can come and attack, whatever, I ain't going anywhere, they need to take me out, right, because I ain't fucking going anywhere, I said it in one of the earlier videos, if there's any honour in this, right, and anybody watching this knows I know the fucking truth, I would have been approached and put in the picture, but that's not happening, so fuck them! I'm going to be continue to be a fucking thorn in the side of every fucking liar and manipulator that's involved in this, and I'm not going to hold back anymore. You know, I tried to do it the, 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 the correct way and keep putting the tools out there, 
right? But people just don't fucking get it. So I'm going to need to involve myself in the drama and fucking point the finger and highlight the behaviours. That's the fucking level that people are at. You know, and I said it before, this is never for me was about having a body to blame, you know, or identify these bodies and throw them in jail and oppress them and fucking blah, blah, blah. No, you know, for me it was about understanding what, how this happened, you know, how their minds work, how our minds work, you know, and coming to a place of understanding with that. And then I, we can keep these people where we need them to be, you know, just the same as, you know, you do in your own private life. You know, you learn these things and you keep things where you want them. So, this for me is not about assassinating, you know, these people, right? But these people are playing games and it's about time they started answering for it, right? And I'm going to make it my mission to highlight every time they behave like that and every time they push unproven claims, right? They can make excuses about their models and all this fucking waste of time that continually keeps happening. You know, these people with all these thousands and thousands of subscribers, who are these subscribers? Why are these subscribers not demanding that these people that they're following tell the fucking truth, right? They will continue to behave like this as long as you sit back and do nothing, right? If they want to stay popular and relevant, they will start listening to the audience if the audience starts demanding the truth. And if you demand the truth of them, and they know that you're demanding the truth and they continue to go their own agenda, you can see what they're up to. Right? As I say, I messaged every one of these Powerland, Dubai, and asked them about the logic behind the bitching and these games that they were entering into, right? They avoided it. They don't want to know. And you need to ask yourself why they don't want to know. And then encourage each other and promote each other. No, people are turning this into a big fucking pantomime, and it's a big party. Oh, let's be pals and let's you know do this and do that, you know. And when at the end of the day, you know, as I say, you're not taking into account the severity of the situation that you're in. It's not a fucking party, right? There's women, kids, animals being tortured, abused, blown up, you know, destroyed every fucking day. Serious trauma happening every fucking day. It's not a fucking party. People are in serious confusion. You know, things are in a serious state because people don't know where they are. They've never had any proper grounding. They don't know what's happening. They're clutching at straws. They're in emotional fear. And you're getting crazy psychological behaviours resulting from that. Right? This is like a huge, you know, this Timothy guy talking about a social experiment. This whole world, you know, for the last hundred years has been a massive social experiment, right? And, it, you know, the experiment has went seriously wrong. Okay? It's not a fucking party. It's not about your personality, right? You're in a fucking serious situation here. And it's about time you started fucking facing up to it. I'm not pandering for Martin Leakey's or any of that anymore. I, I stuck my hand out to these people at the start. They didn't want to know because they were scared in case the limelight was taken away from them. They were scared to be shown up. You know, they were scared to be shown up for lies and shit that they were pushing. You know, because many of these people just use sound bites and catchphrases to sound relevant and popular. But when you actually you start digging below the surface, they know nothing. Right? I know nothing about where I am and what this life's about. Absolutely fucking zilch. And anybody making any claims to the, the contrary, they are fucking liars, right? 
And that's the problem. They know that I would pull them up for that. You get people talking about narcissistic, sociopathic behaviours and I don't even have the ability to recognise it in themselves. Right? They're attached to this life, they love it, they want to be popular, they want to be relevant. You know, a majority of people, that's at the root of them. They want that. They want acceptance from the masses. It's like a fucking illness. Right? I don't give a fuck about being popular. Fuck you! Right? I'm only interested in the truth. If I'm going to be popular, it's for telling the fucking truth. No, what my personality is. Or how clever I am. You know, fuck all that. No, I've got a beam my bonnet now. No, and my priority and my sole focus now is going to be keeping to push this. You know, it's going to be repetitive. You know, and I'm going to, I'm going to get into it. So, you know, if people are disappointed or they don't want to know, that's not my problem, that's your problem. You should be the same, in the same frame of mind that I'm in. Pissed off with us. Right? And demanding truth. You know, this Scott Merrill character who was on my, my channel, none of the Flat Earthers talk about this and talk about that. I've been talking about it from the start. You know, never mind the focus on Antarctica or any of these places. I want to know what's at the centre. The outside edge, the middle centre, the fucking left, the right, the up, the down. I want to know everything. So I would never claim that it's any model or to know where it is. The only claim I've ever made is that it has to be able to contain the water. And that if we live in pressure, you know, what we test and observe would tell us that we must be in some sort of sealed unit to maintain the pressure. And for fuck's sake, people, look at the Antonio Subarats thing. He jumped on the, 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 the information that was put out about the narcissistic behaviours, puts it out, but then sits there on a hangout, you know, talking about personal um, interactions, you know, stuff that goes on behind closed doors, you know. So they're highlighting these behaviours, then, exp you know, sitting there displaying the same behaviours. And they're just going like that to you because you're too fucking stupid to realise what's happening. I'm sorry if that hurts your feelings by saying that you're fucking stupid, but it's the truth. You know, it's been nearly two years for me, this is fucking dragging on. And it's not going anywhere. Because there's not enough people pushing the truth. There's not enough people demanding that these fuckers push the truth. They're quite happy to be entertained and wait for the next big review. What was it the other night with Globebusters? I didn't even watch any of it. Right? What did they offer you? Fuck all. Nothing. They want to keep putting stuff out there that causes debate. Right? There is no debate. Natural science is no up for debate. Right? Reality is reality. Now, we only understand the situation that we're in. It must be able to hold the water. It must be contained in some way because we live in pressure, right? The rest needs to be explored. That's the reality of the situation for real people in real situations. The rest of it is just fucking nonsense. So, I get involved, seen the games that were being played, requested people don't adopt any of these models, they stay away from it. You can say flat earth, then you, you can define what you mean by flat earth, right? You've seen what's happened. Flat earth automatically had this model. That was deliberate. Anybody that doubts any of these things that I'm saying, I encourage you to go back to the very beginning, you know, of my videos and listen. Bro. And look at all the stuff that was posted that I put up on places like Facebook going back to July, June last year. As I say, this isn't about my popularity or getting the credit for putting this stuff out there. It's about the truth. And it's about understanding these people who are pushing fucking lies, you know, and diluting the truth and causing division.
and the people in the wings who are supporting and helping people like Martin Leakey to push fucking utter nonsense. To sit there spewing emotional crap, you know, I'm going to wring this one's name, I'm going to shoot this one, I'm going to battle this one, and me, you know, because he's fucking lost it. But he's not got the strength to admit that to himself. As I say, and I've put my hand out to people at like Martin many times, and they're not interested. They're not interested in truth, and unifying for the truth. Right? So, People like Martin are playing right into the manipulator's hands. Right? No willingly, just because of utter fucking stupidity. I don't know what else to say about this than I, um, but I'm not letting it go, you know, and I realise that this is going to cause maybe a bit of shit with, 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 with these people, but I don't care, bring them to the forefront, right, bring them face to face with me and we will see who's in it for truth and who's playing fucking games, right, encourage any of them to come face to face with me and we will get to the truth. Right? But you probably see the usual. Well, they try and suppress me. They try and keep me to the side. Because what I'm pushing is fucking dangerous to manipulators and controllers. Right? Because what I'm trying to push is this, the critical skills that people require in order not to be manipulated. I've never been a manipulator. Right? I've always rebelled viciously in any form of control and manipulation. I want people empowered. I want to be in groups of individuals who are responsible and have critical thought, who can strip lies using logic and reasoning, right? And once that we have that kind of power, it's fucking game over for manipulators. Manipulators will need to toe the line with the truth. They are the minority, right? Genuine people are the majority if they can just grasp the fucking situation and start applying these tools, right? And understand when their fucking stupid personality and emotions are fucking getting the better of them. You know the saying, I don't know if it was JFK or whoever it was, the biggest threat to any manipulative or tyranny or control, whatever it was, as a well-educated, you know, critical thinking populace. The people get confused with, with that as information, good information, good education at school. No, right? What, what he was talking about and what many people are talking about is the skills in order to read the world that we're living in, to read each other and to read this information. Because if we have that, Nobody can lie. Anything that's involved in what, you know, the objective circles like politics and stuff would be based purely on fact and logic, truth. But they don't. They keep everything on an emotional level. That's where mind control happens. When you have people on an emotional level and in a state of fear, that's where the mind control works. Come on, people. I'm willing to progress. You know, Martin Leakey and these people will probably take this the wrong way, as usual, right? If they're really interested in progression, I can let bygones be bygones. You know, step up to the fucking mark now, right? Now, you're going to interview Quasi Luminous and make a big deal and make it like, oh, we're, I'm relevant and I'm this, that and the next thing. He's not going to offer anything but unproven fucking claims about symbols and numbers. If Martin Leakey was a truther, he would have Quasi Luminous in the show and demand the truth of him. And any claims that he makes, he wants verifiable proof. We'll see if that happens. 
But we're not going to see that. We're all going to get guru mentalities. I've got the keys to reality. I'm here working for God. I'm a spiritual being. I'm a this. I'm a that. Just the babblings of fucking crazy people who don't have the ability to realise the fucking real situation that they're in and to express it. Because they don't have that knowledge and wisdom to express it, you know, they just want to stay popular and relevant, so they'll spew any old fucking crap. You know, I know now that I'm probably repeating, as I say, it was half six in the morning and I'm pissed off, but at the end of the day, you know, these things have to be said. You know, look at my timeline. You know, I've been pushing the truth and trying to give people the skills, the tools that they require in order to decipher what's actually happening here. You know, there's a few who get it and I appreciate those few. Now, those few who do get it, I'm sure you understand what it is I'm saying. And I would encourage you to please, you know, be strong, you know, ruthless with this truth, what I'm actually saying, you know, we need to start cutting through this fucking crap, you know, I put myself out here to give people another option, you know, the truth, rather than this, or that, this circus that was put out in front of them, right, you know, unfortunately for me, I was in it from, from the beginning, so I could see a lot of these patterns happening, and I tried to highlight them as they went, you know, I was angry with myself because I waited until March before I'd done another video. I was angry with myself before I'd done the one last November. You know, I should have got involved and started putting stuff out there well before that. Um, but I sat back uh, because, you know, I didn't want to be in the limelight. You know, I'm, I don't want to be people's saviours. Um, but, you know, it was important to me. The truth was important and nobody else was offering this avenue. So I put myself there. So the only thing I'm offering people is the truth. I'm not offering me as a personality, you know, in any way, shape or form. I'm only interested in representing the truth. It's it's really important to me to know where I am. You know, these big questions, you know, that people have asked themselves, who are we, where are we, why are we here? These three can be answered if people sort their shit out. But this is the point. Do they really want the real truth? Or are they just happy with a level of, you know, self-gratification? That's what I see. You know, and I've seen it for a long time. Um, so. <coughs> I say, if any of these people have an issue with anything I have said, I'm open for discussion. Right? Come face to face with me and I'll discuss it and get it out in the open. Right? But, if, you know, like everything else, same as a globe cult mentality, you know, if people know that you're aware and that you're, you're critical in your thought and that you can articulate it, they will fucking avoid you. That's what manipulators tend to do when they realise that there's a mind there that sees their games and it's no playing the game, they will just avoid. Or they will toe the line. So, that's what I'm encouraging people to do. Make them toe the fucking line. Make them tell the fucking truth. If they want to be popular and relevant and all that shit, make sure it's for the fucking truth. No, because they're cool guys. Fuck off. You know, it fucking pisses me off this fucking, you know, idiocy, man. We get in this situation because of the very same fucking behaviours. So... You know, hopefully I've covered that and I've made the point very fucking clear. This is no a personal thing, right? I don't know them personally. This is what I'm seeing in the arena, you know, that's in the public view. You know, they're, they're here, they're everywhere. As I said before, for me, a lot of these main players, they're either from military family background or they're from fucking some sort of rich background. Right? In it to milk it. I'm not going to say anything else just now, you know, I'll maybe continue this later or, or tomorrow. But, you know, when I see this happening and it makes me feel this way, I'm going to fucking start expressing it now. Okay? Peace.